Do you feel like your time at the XFL has benefited you so far here? Yeah, I mean, most definitely. Uh, I had a good coach, though, with uh, Bill Johnson. Um, obviously, if a lot of y'all covering here know him, he coached here for a while. and So he helped me out a lot in just simplifying the game and just being able to play for him. You know, you really brought a lot of joy back into the game for me. You get a chance to catch up with him? Yeah, just out of your camp. yeah he was just here the other day. Uh, I think he left yesterday. So, I mean, it was good to see him. Uh, I haven't seen him in, since the XFL, and I haven't talked to him much this summer. He got pretty busy. That's on me. Um, but, no, it was good to see him and just catch up and talk to him. And I mean, if you're around Coach Johnson, it's hard not to have a good time so or smile. Yep. Yeah, so I was actually eating lunch at the uh, the cafeteria there, and I like looked up. I'm like, that, that dude looks familiar. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, that's Giantre. And so then I saw him and just told him congrats. I asked him like, you sign? And he's like, yeah. And I told him congrats. And excited to see him out there. Um, every day I'm just focusing on trying to be better and being just doing what I can in the scheme, trying to build a role and whatever happens, happens. You know, I'm just trying to go out and put my best foot forward every single day for the team and just do whatever I can to help this organization win and get where, get to all the goals we want to get to this year. Uh, that, oh, really? It's just the heat down here is <laughs> unbelievable. Uh, yeah. Coach Johnson always talked about it, and it, it it is a different beast down here. But other than that, I mean, you play professional ball; the ball is everywhere. Uh, and like I, I was in the XFL, but I came straight from New York Giants. I mean, I was on a team all 18 weeks last year on a P squad, and then I went straight from there to the XFL nine days after. So I kind of. I kind of knew what I was getting back into, and it's just the details. It's a lot more detailed. You have a lot more time. This is your job. XFL, you have three months, really, to work with a group of guys. And it was the inaugural season since, was it 2020, the last time they had it. So it's like just getting back to all the, the fine details in the NFL. It's just everything's just so calibrated. And just being able to pick up on everything that's going on throughout a play. and. The, your play design and just doing all that. We don't feel good. <laughs> no, uh, no. Uh, I mean, yes and no, but I just try to take care of my body well. And I mean, I was lucky enough to have good mentors my rookie year that really took care of their bodies and they showed me ways to do it. And I kind of adopted those those routines that they had going into the off season and then when I was in the XFL just staying on it and then being down here staying on it in OTAs and then going back I knew it's not gonna be the same five week spread. Uh, so I trained back at the University of Iowa and like we have really good strength coaches and they knew like obviously what I just went through. Um, so I knew it wasn't gonna be the same, like really amp it up and get like explosive and so like we we kind of modified it and just kind of did the own plan, but just really stay on the massage, just body work, stretching every day, um, playing a lot of golf. Uh, <laughs> that kept me loose, <laughs> it kept me in shape. So really that's all I, I did. It was just a different five week span of what I'm used to. Appreciate y'all, y'all have a good one.